Deacon Rob from St. Margaret's. I'd like to share a reflection on caution and fear. By now, most of us know someone who's been affected by the virus. We are all, including the church, trying to be as careful as possible. My breath could cause a problem for your breathing. That's why we're being cautious. I'm living cautiously, but not in fear. I don't want to be the cause of someone else's suffering. We may also be feeling powerless. First, we can't see the enemy. Then, there are so many guidelines, and the rules change with every press conference. And then there are the many executive orders that have been issued, reissued, amended, and all have the force of law. All of these are done with the best of intentions, as we learn more and more about the situation. But these are all contributing to making us feel powerless. Let's remember back a few weeks ago in John's Gospel, the ruling power of this world, represented by Pilate, the governor of all of Judea, whose very word was law. He tells the scourged and bleeding Jesus that he has the power to crucify him, the power of death. And what was the answer from Jesus? You would have no power over me if it had not been given from above. That's not spoken in fear. It's truth. It is what we celebrate in Easter. Because of Christ, death does not have the final word. The church celebrates Easter for seven weeks. Everything we believe hinges on Christ rising bodily from the dead. St. Paul reminds us, if Christ is not raised, our faith is is in vain. We celebrate the resurrection every Sunday. Resurrection changes everything. It sets in motion a new era where all can be gathered into the Son and presented to the Father who created us for union with Him. Our belief in the resurrection must lead us to embodied faith, faith in action. The powers of this world still deal in death. Not just nations and weapons, not just opioids and abortion clinics. We spend countless resources denying death. At Mass, we come together as church and celebrate life. In John again, we hear the words of Jesus, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Together we say, Alleluia, again. The very word has within it the music of redemption. I choose not to live in fear. Caution, yes. Fear, no. I wear a seatbelt, even on a plane. I don't worry about the things I can't control. Once, flying home from Denver, just past the Rockies, we hit fantastic turbulence. The plane dropped at least four feet in an instant and then just kept rumbling and the wings were shaking. The young 20-something-year-old man next to me was, was freaking out. Um, he asked if I felt it. I said, of course I felt it. The plane dropped four feet. Um, it was kind of like a Disney ride for a while. I told him, I don't control this plane. I don't control the weather. The people behind the doors in the front, they've got all the experience we're going to get today for flying a plane. The weather, clearly, I don't control it. I don't worry about things I can't control. I offered to let them take my pulse. Maybe, maybe at twice his age, I look at things differently. If I can't control it, I don't worry about it. It's my short version of the serenity prayer. It is based on the most frequent phrase in the entire book of Scripture. It is, fear not. Maybe God's trying to tell us something. So caution, yes. Fear, no. At the end of the day, and every day, what matters not is living eternally. What matters what really matters is eternal life. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.